One of the really cool things I use a lot at work and just in general for you know my own uh, knowledge and use is a creation of like a wiki type document uh, in an HTML document made through R Markdown. And the way that that's really feasible and possible is with these tab set, fade, pill, like this, these tab set options in R Markdown. And it produces results like this, where you have tabbed sections that you know show and hide content at will. And what that looks like is that I would have like uh, this basic, basic document. I would have all the content under these headings. And then I would have, you know, plots, visualizations, data tables, whatever. It could be whatever you want. And I've done fully interactive, you know, interactive plots, data tables, um, HTML widget elements, you name it in these sections. And when you have these um, pieces of code after in braces, after these headings, and you knit these documents, and it has to be HTML format, if you knit them together, you can see that the sections, watch the tab names, will actually switch and change and show content according to which area you're in. You could hide this. Um, you can even have like the options to have a, uh, let's see if I remember the option. I don't remember if it's TOC float. I think these are the options. Uh, maybe not that one then. Let's see. Maybe this one has to be on the new line. There we go. So um, that one has table of contents there, but that's not what I wanted. I wanted a TOC float. So this is one of the other really cool aspects of doing the HTML document. If I can figure out what this setting is, oh, that appears to have worked. Oops. Um, is that you can have a floating table of contents like over here. Now, if I have multiple areas um, that I could fill, uh, scroll down through, this would actually appear to show something really, really cool. So let's actually try and do this. Um, Okay, let's knit that and see what we get. A bunch of just headings, sub-nesting headings and whatnot. So then we can see we have all these headings here, but then watch the table of contents. As I scroll down, it'll actually reveal different um, areas in these headings. So you can see like it's got that uh, nice little, it reveals a bunch of stuff and we can go like this. So that's like just very minimal code for a drastic change in the functionality, aesthetics, and just usefulness of these HTML exports. You can create wiki documents with nice table of contents or very interactive reports. And again, remember, everything you can export from RStudio, R code, R Markdown into HTML means that it can be treated as a website, as a web page, because it's HTML. So if I wanted to create a very interactive report and do something great and cool with it, um, and have all of this stuff encapsulated in a single HTML file, I could serve that with my website and have that as a page of my website. So all the aesthetics of our Markdown, you can basically create very beautiful web pages with Markdown text and minimal code or code chunks and visualizations, and it can get as crazy as you want. So that would be the uh, tab set stuff right here, some YAML changing of TOC, TOC float, and all this stuff can be found in the free book online of bookdown.org. Um, it's also like R Markdown, but like, yeah, R Markdown, the definitive guide, uh, it's all in here. Like, I just bought this book and I haven't read it yet, but I've, I've poked through around in here to figure out what I needed to figure out to do things. All the great stuff is in here.
like all this stuff for just HTML is right here. Um, yeah, highly recommend HTML format for R Markdown exportation. And I'm probably going to be putting up a page on my website made out of R Markdown like this eventually because it's just, it's just so nice. So that's all I got for you on that. HTML, it's great.